think that the pendency of an administrative case against a nominee for Supreme Court uh, Justice should bar him or her uh, from being considered? Well, uh, I would like to uh, uh, to be excused from answering it, but, but in any case, I will answer that. That decision lies with the JBC. You adopted the rule, and if you want to exempt anybody from the rule, you can exempt it. It's up to you, really. Again, maraming maraming salamat po. At, uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, much, sir. Mr. Thank, you. thank you, Secretary Mosni. I'm thinking of questions to us. Anyway, you know, because uh, they already asked about your programs, uh, CHIP, uh, how to solve the club dockets, <coughs> no? computerization, lahat na tanong na eh about your programs. Eh, tanong ko naman kung your functions now, what are you doing, no, so that the public uh, may be enlightened, no, because you have been uh, in, the, in the court for 11 years. I remember when I joined the court, my first, my first time to come to this court, you gave me a book about uh, justices of the Supreme Court. And then I had problems then because I had the most number of cases. I think I had, uh, uh, I inherited uh, 1,300 cases. And also remember that you told me that uh, it will take time before you get rid of your, of your uh, docket. And I vividly remember, and you told me that, in order to learn the work of an associate justice, you need at least three years. Do you recall that, uh, Chief Tony? Yes. But because I was ashamed to ask a follow-up question, I did not ask you. Kasi ibang dating sa akin eh. Huh? Well, there was a time that uh, my wife uh, uh, worked with you in a case when you were the Presidential Legal Counsel. When I was uh, newly, ma newly married, I used to fetch my wife in all these meetings. Well, ibang dating sa akin eh. Nahiya ako eh. So I did not ask him, I did not ask him, sabi ko, eh parang natakot ako, you need at least three years to learn the work of a justice, sabi sa akin, natakot ako eh. Ito, tatanungin ko na ngayon. Tatanungin ko na sa kanya. Ha? Why did you give that answer to me, Chip Tony? Well, uh, in my case, uh, you know, it took me three years to really be comfortable with the work here in the Supreme Court. There are a lot of uh, procedures here in the Supreme Court. Uh, and uh, for you to really battle it out in the discussions in the Supreme Court, you must have a firm grasp of a wide range of areas of law. And the, for you to learn this and to have a full grasp, you must do this every day. And after three years, then you are ready, really, to discuss point by point any any aspect of law. It, I said it will take. It took me three years, really, to feel that I can I can speak with authority in the end bank and battle it out with the with the justices like uh, Justice uh, Mendoza, Vivi Mendoza, with uh, Justice uh, Davide, Chief Justice Davide. And uh, that's the reason why I said it takes three years, really. What about because you are vying for the position of Chief Justice? You need three years to learn the work of an associate justice. How many years do you need to learn the work of a Chief Justice? <laughs> that's why I did not join the denomination because this is only my fourth year. So I, just, I, want, I, want, I want to ask him, how many years do you need to learn the work of a Chief Justice? Well, I think to hit uh, the ground running, you must know immediately the problems of the judiciary. And uh, to know the problems of the judiciary, you have to observe it for a length of time. There are so many problems in the judiciary. That's why we're, people are complaining about clogged dockets, alleged corruption in the judiciary, uh, lack of infrastructure. And we have to address this. And it took me some time, really, to find out these problems. Right now, for example, uh, I just talked with our people in the office of the Halls of Justice. They have problems of uh, paying on time. 
uh, utilities in the provinces, uh, they, they, they don't, they're unable to pay on time electricity bills, telephone bills, water bills of court, courthouses, of uh, halls of justice. So I told them, look, you get the list, get the bank accounts of all these utility companies, and we deposit the check here in the land bank. And we just tell them the check is deposited already in your account here in the land bank. Right now, what we do, all the courts, uh, uh, the, the clerks of court will send the bills to Manila. We process it here. We prepare the check. We mail the check. And along the way, the checks get lost. When we can all the time just deposit it here. And the, 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 there are so many problems like that. And you, you will remember that in the end bank, we always agonize because we always dismiss clerks of court who run away with cash collections. And it happens all of the time, all this year. So I called up the, uh, the OCA the other day and I told them, I want, you know, it's, this is a simple problem. I visited other judiciaries abroad and I asked them the same question. How do you safeguard the funds of the judiciary, the filing fees when they are paid to your clerks? clerks of court or cashier said, we don't have that problem. Why? We require them to pay the bank directly or to pay us in check. So there's no leakage. And that's what I told the, the OCA, to prepare a circular that I will sign requiring all clerks of court not to accept cash anymore, to accept checks. And if there is no checks, the filing fees will be paid to land bank branch, and most of the land, uh, most of the municipalities, municipal halls where the courtrooms are located, are just across land bank branches, and so the land bank uh, has given us a list of all their branches nationwide, which are located beside courthouses, and so the uh, the clerks, the clerks of court cannot complain anymore that uh, the the litigants have a hard time preparing the check; they don't have checking accounts, or they cannot. Uh, they only have cash. Well, if they have cash, they can go right across the street where the uh, land bank branch is located. And we can just do away with all of this revenue leakage. Now, all of this takes time to understand. And it take me, took me a long time to understand this problem. So, um, another thing, no? because the, uh, you are the longest serving member of the court, probably the public do not know. Aside from our functions in the court, adjudicatory, administrative functions. You are also members of the HRET and SET, is it not? That's right. Uh, you were once a chairman of the HRET. That's right. I all know sit as a member, but not yet a chairperson. It will take time also, because I'm just learning. And then you sit also as a member and chairman of the, uh, of the SET. Will you please enlighten us, uh, what, was your, what were your functions as uh, chairman of the HRET? Well, the House uh, Representative Electoral Tribunal, for that matter. Well, in the HRET, every election, you receive a, around 140 election contests. And you have to decide this before the three-year term of congressman and otherwise it will be useless. Uh, before, when the elections were manual, we have to go over each ballot one by one and of course, the objections are written by one, by, by one hand, several ballots written by one hand, and it was very tedious to go over this. Now it's automated, but still, uh, the parties want to go to the ballots instead of just relying on the flash drive. And uh, of course, you have to decide these cases uh, within, uh, before the end of the term, otherwise it will be useless. So it, it, it's a lot of work in the HRET. What about, uh, have you presided already a meeting, uh, meeting of the, uh, the monthly meeting of the Philippine Judicial Academy, being the uh, chairman of the Board of Trustees? Yes, just I have already presided, uh, I think, uh, twice. Oh, that's, that's also another work for a Chief Justice. Yes, that's, uh, that's uh, the Chief Justice chairs that body. You also chair the, uh, what we call the Mother Rule. The, the Mother Rule Committee. Yeah. yeah, the Mother Rule Committee, the revision of the rules of court. Then you chair the Judicial Bar Council. That's right. And you should be on top of what is happening of our budget. Yes, uh, that's a function. Can, can you also, uh, because I'm not yet there, no? I'm not yet there. I do not know. 